if you weren't related, which song would have made you stop and take notice the most? That's really tough because I am related and I don't really know how to imagine not being related, but I do love Nights on Broadway. I think that's like a perfect song on a lot of levels. By no means is it my favorite. I think that groove is undeniable and it's just an incredible song. I think that's a really hard question to ask because there's so many great songs in the Bee Gees and Andy Gibb catalogue. But a song that I've always really liked and is in my Spotify playlist and I've always kind of had in my car or around to play is You Win Again, which I've loved since the 1980s. I just think it's a great pop classic. From my father's catalogue, I always loved his country style stuff. So Words and Music is probably a song I would have loved no matter who sang it. I think Spirits Having Flown is an incredible record. I love that, that song. I, I started a joke, New York Mining Disaster, 1941. In the morning, how can you mend? How can you mend a broken heart? Hit your soul. Probably would have to say you win again because it's one of those songs that the second it comes on the radio, you kind of just stop. You hear the stomps. The song takes you to a place. Probably for me, it was a very good memory for me of a time. It's, I think, thinking back, it's definitely one of those songs that it made me take notice. You know, and even if I wasn't a fan, I think I would like it. Straight up, How Deep Is Your Love? It's just such a beautifully written song in terms of the types of chords that are used, the production itself, the harmonies are unique, almost even for the brothers. They have this, just this, such a beautiful record, a beautiful song. It's a combination of things that have come together like magically. So it would have to be that. And anyone who's a music fan should really just be in love with that song and study that song. Because it's, it's practically perfect. I'm sorry, I can't pick one. To me, they're all great. I really like Jive Talking. Of course, Gotta Get a Message to You, I've, I've always liked. But Islands in the Stream, I liked. Hard to separate myself as well. You know, is there a BG song or album that you thought was crap? Yeah, pretty much all of them. Yeah, not really a fan. Don't really get it, you know. But I'm grateful. No, there isn't. Are there records that are I like less than others? I mean, sure, I'm sure there are. But, you know, sizes and everything is not one I listen to a lot. So maybe that would count. But by no means does that mean it's a bad record. It's just one that I don't listen to a lot. Awesome question. Um, you know, I've thought about this though, you know, not really. There are records that I'm not a huge fan of, but there's always like a, a beautiful gem in there somewhere. That's only because it just might not be my style. The, you know, the, the brothers are just being the most versatile writers and producers and singers on the planet. It just might be that one particular album wasn't my flavor, but yet there's always one or two or even three songs that just make you go, me, they're just that good all the fucking time. No, um, no, and of course taste is just taste. You know, there's like what some people like, other people don't. Was there a Bee Gees song or album that I thought was crap? Never thought any of it was crap. I really try hard to, to answer these honestly, and I don't think I have any of them I, I don't like. But I'm slightly biased, I guess. I, I think you probably, if you asked Michael Barry or my dad, when he was here, would, they'd probably give you a song, maybe. Everything that they did kind of got them to where they ended up. So I think while their stuff might be not as good, I think everything kind of had something to it. So I don't know if there would be anything crap that I would think. Um, I would have to go with no. Which Gib Brothers album or solo record is your favorite? For me, it's it's probably main course. It's a beautiful blend of styles. You know, there's R&B, there's country, there's, there's kind of straight up sort of British style pop, like, you know, the beautiful gems on there, like Baby As You Turn Away, but then this is the record that had Nights on Broadway on it and Jive Talking launched the falsetto sound while still, you know, like I said, having these country elements to it. It's really diverse, but yet it's cohesive at the same time. And uh, there's just something, you know, kind of, kind of perfect about it. And again, it was a transitional record. It sort of launched what would happen on Children of the World and then, of course, Saturday Night Fever. But on the flip side of that, you know, Spirits Having Flown is just, you know, fucking fantastic because of its cohesiveness. It's like the harmonies are so tight, the productions are insane, the string arrangements are awesome. All of the songs are fantastic. It's just, it's got this energy. You know, it's practically a perfect record. So the, I play those two, probably main course and Spirits Having Flown in terms of like, like studio albums. You know, as far, as far as solo, I love so many solo projects that 
my, my dad's done and Barry and Morris have done. And honestly, I just love it when the brothers come together. I love it when the three brothers harmonize. And just as writers, when they would hit that, that magic sweet spot, there's nothing that only one person could ever do. They're kind of like a, you know, a unicorn and a rainbow fucking. I have to say I'm partial to my dad's new record, In The Now, mostly because it's new. I had the honor of being able to co-write it with him, and I got to play a lot of guitar on it, which was a lot of fun for me. I think that one. And I also think Now Voyager, which was in the 80s, I thought that was a really great record for the time. So if you haven't heard it, check it out. I think solo record, maybe, probably because, again, it's childhood memories. It would be How Old Are You from my Uncle Robin. You know, my dad you know, produced it with him, wrote it with him. To, I have those memories of that album. I don't think there was any hits off that album. The title track is just great European pop music, and it's like 80s, and it's an album that makes me happy. For a Bee Gees album, probably, I was going to say ESP, but I think maybe Still Waters. I have two sets of memories of my dad's music before I was born, which I have like no you know, tangible memory of, obviously. So like I do have my favorite from before I was born. If you ask me my favorite album, it would probably be Still Waters because it was the culmination of, you know, it was the year they were put into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They did the One Night Only not long after that, the song alone. It was my 21st birthday, so you know, it's just all those, it, like music for me is very attached to memories and that's an album for me that, that kind of holds a special place. Massachusetts and I Started to Joke, I think are my favorites as far as my dad singing lead.